For question 14, water is poured into an inverted circular cone which has a semi-vertical angle of 60 degrees at the rate of 8 pi cm cube per minute. So first of all, from this question, we identify, identify our shape. It is an inverted circular cone which can store our water. So the shape of this cone, it will be drawing like this. So in order to store our cone, and then extra information say that for this cone, it has a semi-vertical angle. So semi-vertical angle means it has an angle of here, which is made up of 60 degree. And then the water is poured inside at the rate of, so this cone will be going to store water. So our water will be going to store inside here at the rate of 8 pi cm cube per minute. So notice that when we want to store our water inside this circular cone, the rate is increasing. The volume is increasing. So dv dt will equal to positive 8 pi cm cube per minute. So we can see cm cube referring to the quantity of volume. So minute referring to the quantity of time. So that's why so the rate of 8 pi cm cube can be Per minute can be expressed as expressed in dv dt equals to eight pi. Then after find depth of the water, so ask us to find for question A. Ask us to find what is our depth of the water. So as we know, when we pour the water inside the cone, this is our radius. This is our height of the water. So after 8 minutes, when t equals to 8 minutes, we have to find out we have to find out what is our height. So for this question, as we can see our rate of change here, dvtt is equal to 8 pi cm cube per minute. It means that one minute we can get volume of 8 pi. So our question want to find the depth of the water, the h, when time equals to 8 minutes. So when we have 8 minutes, our volume of the water inside the cone will be going to times 8. It will go total to store up 64 pi cm cube of this water in the cone so from this volume we're going to find out what is the height for this volume so as we can see our volume of our water is according to the volume of the shape of the container so our volume of the water will be in shape of cone also so volume of the cone will be in formula of 1 over 3 pi r square h. So where r will be referring to the radius of our water. So we can notice that our formula of volume is in terms of two variables, which is r and h. So how to relate this unknown r and h? As we can see here, r and h of the water will form out a triangle with the angle of 60 degrees. So this is our height of the water. This is our radius of our water, which is the triangle at here. So from here, we can use our idea of tangent 60 equals to opposite, which is R over adjacent height. So R can be equals to tangent 60 H. So R can be equals to 3 H. So this is how we relate these two variables when our water is poured inside the cone. So after we getting our relationship, R is in terms of H, we're going to substitute into our formula. So our formula here, V will go into 1 over 3 pi 
where r is set 3 h square so we simplify our formula set 3 square will become 3 so 3 times 3 will be cancelled off equals to pi h cube so our volume formula in term of h will be equals to pi h cube so after 8 minutes we'll have total of 64 pi so 64 pi will be equal to pi h cube where we can see our pi can be simplified so from this moment we can find out our height or our h or our depth of the water so our depth of the water is equal to 64 so this h will be cube root of 64 so h will be equals to 4 cm so that will be our part A then we go into part B For question B, they're going to ask us to find out what is the rate of change of this depth at this instant means at 8 time equals to 8 minute height equals to 4 cm. So they ask us to find out our rate of change of the depth which is dh dt. So from dh dt, we can get it from chain rule where we can differentiate, we can find dh linked to the quantity volume and then volume link back to the time so from here we can see dvdt already given in the questions now we need to find out what is our volume in terms of h and we differentiate so our formula volume in terms of h is v equals to pi h cube we will go into differentiate v with respect to h so as we differentiate v with respect to h3 will be moved to fun and then power will be minus 1 become 2. So what we need is dh dv. We're going to inverse it. All this will go to the denominator part. So finally, we can answer our dh dt, which is rate of change of the depth of the water, equals to dh dv, which is 1 over 3 pi h square, and then times dv dt, which is equals to 8 pi. So notice that pi can be simplified and then at the same time, we can substitute our h value. So our h value that we find in part A is 4. So we will give us 1 over 6. Height is cm. And then time, we can see the unit here. Time is per minute. So cm per minute. 